In the very heart of the Atlantic Ocean lies a unique city, secluded from the rest of the world by its isolated geographic location. Here, on the island of Tristan da Cunha, live only about 200-300 people. But who are they? How did they end up here? And to which country does this land belong? The history of this mysterious place dates back to the distant past. As early as the 19th century, the first settlers arrived leaving behind a rich cultural heritage. The island, situated at the confluence of the oceans, acts as a bridge between South America and Africa. Despite its modest size, it is shrouded in mysteries and adventures. Did you know that the British annexation of the neighboring island of St. Helena was aimed at preventing the possible escape of Napoleon? It's a long way from here to France, but in those times, political strategies were incredibly bold. I invite you to journey to this amazing island to discover how its inhabitants live today and why Edinburgh of the Seven Seas is considered one of the most isolated places on Earth. Life on Tristan da Cunha is unique and unparalleled. The islanders engage in agriculture and fishing, living in harmony with nature. There's no noise of big cities here, just the clear sky and the sound of the surf. Supplies and technology are limited. The internet is slow and fuel is scarce. But this does not prevent the locals from preserving their traditions and culture. Exploring life on the island, we see its unique isolation and the peculiarities of communication with the outside world. Tourists here are a rarity and large ships visit the port infrequently. All goods and cargo are delivered on small boats. Storms can make the arrival of ships impossible, leaving the island cut off from the world. Tourists on Tristan da Cunha are a rare and always exciting event. Arriving on chartered vessels, they bring not only essential goods, but also fresh impressions, enriching the local culture. These visits are a window to the larger world, offering the islanders a chance to exchange cultural values. This remote island, steeped in history and natural beauty, stands as a testament to the resilience and adaptability of its people. Here, traditions are cherished, and the pace of life is dictated by the rhythms of nature rather than the ticking of a clock. The community on Tristan da Cunha, though small, is tight-knit and fiercely proud of its heritage. They have developed a unique way of life, blending ancient customs with the necessities of modern living. The island's history also includes moments of hardship and challenge. The volcanic eruption in 1961, for instance, forced a temporary evacuation. Yet the islanders returned to rebuild their homes and lives, a powerful display of their attachment to their homeland. The economy of Tristan da Cunha is largely self-sufficient, based on a sustainable model of living. The locals rally on their own resources for food and basic needs, practicing a lifestyle that many in the modern world are only beginning to appreciate. The island's isolation has fostered a strong sense of community and independence. Visitors to Tristan da Cunha often speak of a profound sense of peace and timelessness, a stark contrast to the fast-paced, interconnected world they leave behind. This island offers a rare glimpse into a way of life that is both ancient and remarkably relevant in today's world. As we delve deeper into the life and history of Tristan da Cunha, we are reminded of the incredible capability of human beings to thrive under the most challenging circumstances. This island story is not just about survival, it's about a community's unyielding commitment to maintain its identity in an ever-changing world. It is a living example of how simplicity and a deep connection with the environment can lead to a fulfilling and resilient way of life. Technology arrived late on this island, and the internet only made its way to Tristan da Cunha quite recently. But the inhabitants, accustomed to a life of isolation, have harmoniously blended tradition with innovation, maintaining their slow, measured pace of life. Edinburgh of the Seven Seas, located thousands of kilometers from the mainland, is one of the most remote and isolated settlements in the world. The distance to major cities like Rio de Janeiro and Cape Town is impressive, but it is this very isolation that endows the island with its unique character. 
The social fabric of Tristan da Cunha is unique. Without the distractions of modern urban life, the islanders have developed strong bonds with each other, creating a sense of solidarity that is rare in today's world. Community events, from local festivals to communal fishing expeditions, are central to their way of life reinforcing their connection to each other and their heritage. The island's isolation has also preserved a rich biodiversity. Its waters are teeming with marine life, and its lands are home to unique flora and fauna, some of which are found nowhere else on Earth. This natural wealth is respected and carefully managed by the islanders, who understand the importance of conservation. Education on the island is tailored to this unique way of life. Children are not only taught traditional academic subjects, but are also imbued with a deep respect for their environment and cultural heritage. This education ensures that future generations will continue the traditions and practices that have sustained this community for so long. In a world where rapid change and technological advancement are the norms, Tristan da Cunha stands as a beacon of simplicity and continuity. Its story is a powerful reminder of the enduring human spirit and the possibility of a harmonious existence with our natural world. The history of the island is shrouded in mysteries and legends. It begins with the arrival of the first settlers in the 19th century and reaches a climax with the volcanic eruption in 1961. The people of Edinburgh, of the Seven Seas, despite their remoteness and isolation, have managed not only to survive, but also to develop their unique culture, rich in history and traditions. Edinburgh of the Seven Seas stands as a symbol of the indomitable human will and the ability to adapt to the harshest conditions. Here, humans and nature exist in an inseparable bond, demonstrating a unique coexistence and interdependence.